Morning everyone, and uh, welcome back to Every Day with me, Nick. Oh, uh, I've just got into a into my shed. I'll just oh, there we go. I'm just turning the lights on. So yes, welcome back, and uh, I'm Nick. And uh, today we're going to get some milling done. But to start with, we're in the uh, we're in the shed. Uh, I'm not sure if you remember on the last video. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's just the the last one that I, I published. Um, I had the jo uh, holes former. Holes former G660 uh, chainsaw out, and uh, the the chain was cutting on a on a wonk. So one of the teeth, what no, one of the sides sides of the teeth are longer than the others. Now I'll probably be able to just get the mic uh, vernier out, check them, and I'll find out which one it is. Put it back on the power grinder and just take them take them back to all all the standard uh, sizing. Probably going to take quite a bit off, but you know off one off one of the teeth um but i tell you what i did find the other day i found i found a brand new spare chain so what i'm going to do with uh with that is I'm just going to put the new chain on and get ripping uh down this log uh to size so not milling it down with the chainsaw but cross cut to size anyway um so yeah we're just going to get that uh going to get that done now and uh get that cut get it on the mill have a fight with the David Brown 880 because the battery's knackered. Uh, I've got two batteries, both are absolutely full bad. So yeah, and I've got a bit of a mess going on in here at the moment. So I need to get this tidied up at some point in here. But uh, yeah, there's just stuff everywhere. Anyway, let's just get this chain on and uh, let's get cutting. Let's get milling as well. I hope everyone's doing good. Uh, what you've been up to, let me know down in the comments below. And uh, if there's anything that you want to say, just give us a shout. You know, see if there's anything particular. Um, I think in the f very nearish future uh, is the. Sh I'm going to have to do a one-year review on the uh, on the Chinese mini digger that I bought. Um, now it's going to be a bit conflicting, but it's it's going to be my honest, my honest, uh, opinioned review on on that on that excavator because uh, it's been a year I'm sure, I'm sure i got it june last year so so yeah um also if there's any of you uh creative designers out there that who watch this wouldn't mind helping me out in creating a um logo kind of thing logo stroke uh interactive thing i don't know i'm not very savvy on that i've to be honest i've just started again i learned cad uh computer aided design in college 14 years ago and i've never used it since i've never had to but one of the future projects i'm wanting to do in involves cad so uh, and exporting into dxf files so you cat you people who know what i'm on about here will probably think oh, i, I kind of see where he's going with this so i'm just starting to learn cad again now youtube i'm on it every day i'm watching everybody's different new comment uh, content all the time but there's plenty of uh, a plethora oh let's use that one a plethora of information of how to use different programs currently i'm using freecad but other pe other forums have said that freecad is not as easy as it suggests however i found it fairly simple up to now but it still involves a little bit of um you know methodical thinking so yeah but no if anybody's a, a creative designer and they're willing to try and work with me uh with a design that i have in mind um then i'd be hellish grateful um with with for you with to, you know to help me um <coughs> But yeah, that, I don't know. Right, guys, enough of me waffling. <sighs> Nearly five minutes again. My dogs are choking on something they've just eaten. <sighs> right, let's get to it. Swap this chain out. How can we just take a second to try and appreciate how beautiful that chain is? I don't know why, but it seems like the links are all like an anodyne. <laughs> hey, shush! Are all a, sorry about that. <laughs> are all like an anodized black. I'm not sure how well this is getting picked up, but wow, teeth are massive. The teeth are massive, razor sharp. This is the actual holes former chain 
Um, it's got some good reviews about it, uh, which I'm quite glad about. It uh, kind of looks like a, a full chisel, I think, not a semi chisel. So it'll cut nice, but a bit, bit harder to file off. I can't remember anyway, but either way, I'm still, I'm still going to be grinding it up with a, with a uh, file. So I like to uh, sharpen them by file if, if possible. That always doesn't turn out to be the best for me, like, but um, yeah. So anyway, I just wanted to show you, and I'll try and make you appreciate just how, I'll appreciate just how look nice these. I know this focus is terrible. So just cleaned the bar out as well. So there was a little bit, of, a little bit of crap in there. You can hear it grinding away, but I've, I've cleaned it all out, blasted it out. But that's just the the sprocket up up the top there. So. As with all these Hulls former G660 saws, the uh, the blade, the chain tensioning device are absolute garbage. Go OEM if you can get a proper steel one; it will fit nicely on there. But yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> to be honest, I've been looking at the uh, Neotech saws, and my uh, uh, social, well, uh, uh, I don't know, acquaintance, I guess. I'm hopefully going to be seeing him. Uh, don't forget APF show as well, 22nd, 23rd, 24th of September in Warwickshire. I'll leave a link down in the uh, description below. Um, Ian Gregory is going to be there with his stand and hopefully he's going to be showcasing some of the Neotech pro uh, products. And they are trumping the Hulls Farmer saws because Neotech actually made the saws for Hulls Farmer. So they're actually trumping them. And uh, I'm keen to see what's available. That little 260, uh, uh, still MS260 mines, lovely saw. But it's getting a bit tired. It needs a little bit of an overhaul. You know, a new pot, new piston, new rings, the usual. Probably put a new carb on it. Probably run like new after that. But um, I wouldn't mind trying maybe it's like a, the 440 range of this. So this is the 660, it's 92cc. I think the 440 range runs at 70 something cc. I think so that'd be quite nice I'll be quite interested in that so anyway I've baffled on again uh, just wanted to show you the how nice that chain looked on there it won't look nice for long obviously but it just looks nice now right let's get to it all right I think we're recording It. So it's 410 mil at this end, and it is. Let's have a look. 48510. Hmm. Must have been. Must have been drunk. Drunk that day. It's probably oblong. That's what it. Elongated or whatever you want to call it. So anyway, it don't matter. See what this log measures. Yes, I haven't got a loggers tape, I've just got a standard tape, so... Right, we've got 4.84 or 190 inches, 190 and a half inches. 15, nearly 16 foot anyway. 15 foot 11. <laughs> I'm terrible with old size. Um, so yeah. 4.84. Now we need bugger. We need eight foot pieces. So or 2.8. 2.8. 2.8. We're not gonna get two eight foot sections out of this. So what do we do? So 2.4 is there. Two point four is there. What does that leave us? Oh yeah, well, oh just what was I doing? Four point eight, you ding, not five. <laughs> I can't even do basic math. So if I cut right here, that will get us exactly what we want with a little bit to spare. So hopefully. 
my chainsaw will cut through straight down that so let's get the old farmer fired up the g660 now the reason the reason i use this is because it's a 20 inch bar it's plenty of power it's 100 nearly it's 92 cc so that bar gets through there no problem with spare to go so let's uh i do i, I do try and drop drop start this but it's you know it can really kick back on you sometimes i even put the decompressor in you know don't be don't be thinking that i'm a, i'm less of a man if you use a don't decompressor but it sure does go Oh no! <laughs> Looks like my teeth have fell out again. Where's the hell? I'll have to take that apart. And I've done this before, so it's a good job I kind of know what I'm looking for now. But the little plastic teeth sort of like don't come out, or the oh, something's happened. Anyway. Did you see how easy that goes through there? It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So, and it's warm today, Jesus, what it's warm today. 2.42, uh, yeah, that looks, yeah, it's about right. I think we had about 40 mil. 2.42, 2.42, wow. Finally, I did something right. So, what we're going to do is not get my foot caught underneath there. I'll tell you what, it sounded like I hit something in there when I was cutting that. And, uh, it sounded like I hit a stone or something. Which, beautiful, beautiful cut. Absolutely clean. Lovely. Right, so, what have we got to do? We have, um, We have these pieces to move, these 40 mil slab cuts. I'm going to use that, I'm going to make them into rails to go across here. So they need to be moved. They're drying off beautifully. Um, ah, I, yeah, so I'm going to show you bits and bobs of what, I'm, what I've been doing and what I'm going to be doing. So there's my log tongs, I'm going to get them out. Timber tongs. And um, yeah, get this cleared. Get, that, get these off, tractor started, oh, I'll fight it first, I'm sure the David Brown will win. Get this done and uh, yeah, let's get to it, let's get to it.
Uh, I'm not sure what you've just seen of that. Might be a complete bust. So if you if it didn't see anything, I've got the two two logs there on the log deck, and I've also got this little one. This is a four foot piece or twelve hundred in new money, and it's ash. Now. I've heard a few conflicting things about ash, it can't be used outside because it's not that good. However, apparently it looks like oak, you know, like a copy of oak. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mill it. And uh, Laura, my partner, she wants some, um, she wants some shelving in the house. See what I'm thinking? So if I, if I get some, uh, I get some ripped down, some milled down. I don't know, we'll make them. I don't know what we'll make them yet. Make them two inch, make them 50 mil. And if you want them thinner, I can always come back and rip them down on the on the mill. Because I ain't got anything else to take them down. I could do with a like a planer, planer thicknesser. That would be nice. Anyway, like a proper one. <coughs> anyway, so. That's going to get milled. I don't think it's going to get milled today, however, because it's uh, by the time I get through these two logs, we'll be probably be going on. And I'm night shift again, so well, you know, I'm night shift tonight, so I haven't really got time to uh, go at it all day. So let's get to it. Let's get the mill. Well, let's get it loaded onto the mill. do is uh, the logs like an egg shape it's growing like an egg so we're gonna get the peak of the of the egg shaped log to the top take that down I'm a bit afraid of it rolling off the other end. I appreciate everyone's suggestions and I am going to put something in the pipeline to um, to stop this happening, but yeah. For now, just you down for you. So we've got it clamped in, we've got it all up. We'll get our first cut off this and get uh, it start to get squared up.
let's get you guys on a time lapse. Alright guys, right that's gonna wrap it up. We've just we've got two logs milled there. We're quite happy with that. We've got uh, uh just a 40 mil piece left over on the mill somewhere there. Um gonna cut that down to a foot couple of uh couple of rails, 100 by 40 mil rails just to put in between. I think if we should have should be long enough. So we've got all boards stacked up behind me there. And um so they, they'll, they'll do for quite a bit of it. I've got a pile just behind me there. Um, that's gonna, uh, they're, they're all for rework stuff. So once um, once I run out, I'll just put them through up mill and rework them. So we are just waiting on the uh, on the tin now, for the tin coming so I can take out that uh, makeshift shed. Uh, come on, so I can, uh, you know finish the latin putting the joists in putting the rafter in and then that'll be it put the tin up no problem um so yeah that's it for today so back tomorrow uh where i'll be framing the uh framing the shed in uh pretty simple that really easy come on um i forgot to bring a drink with me i'm spitting feathers now but we'll uh, we'll go. I'm night shift, like I've said, so I need to go and uh, just chill out for a bit before going to work. So that's it. Thanks very much for watching, guys. If there's anything you like to say, give it a shout. I still didn't get round to milling that. Um, well, I would have done if I hadn't been talking. But that ash piece there, I want that on the mill next and uh, get that milled down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take take that piece. Well, what I mill off the slabs, I'm going to take them home. And I'm gonna try and leave them. I'm gonna try and leave them in one of the, like in our spare room, and just just let them uh, dry. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. I want to leave them out here if I can, um, but without sun being on them, 
just getting airflow around them so right right guys thanks very much catch you later